everybody. I'm really excited for this Canva Tip Weekly. We're talking about the paintbrush tool or the copy styles tool. You might think you know what this thing does, but I'm about to push it and add layers, 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 layers. We love layers, especially in cakes, but today there is no cake. There is just layers to the paintbrush tool. The paintbrush tool is when you have something selected, if your browser is really big, it might just be chilling over here, but I have a browser kind of small for a YouTube video. So my paintbrush tool is over here um, in these three dots. So an additional menu. And you can see when I hover, it says copy style because that's what the paintbrush do. It's like sticking your paint in the paint and then rolling it. I don't know, is it my favorite icon? No, did I make it? No. Quite simply, the paintbrush tool copies the style from one object to another. So I'm going to click. So that you are going to want to make sure that the thing that you want is highlighted. So in this case, I'm going to, I've got this highlighted. It's Vesterbro. It's my font, Vesterbro. It is 35 uh, size. And ooh, let's also make it orange. Let's show you that. Let's show you that. So let's make it orange. Let's boop, boop, boop. It is not in all caps. Here we go. I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool and then I'm going to click on this other title. Look at that. It copies all of the styling from one font to another. So let's do it again here. This is some body copy. This is Gopher. It is a font that I purchased. This is Evolve Sans. It is a Canva Pro font. Um, this one has a little bit of line spacing. Let's even center it. Uh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to grab the paintbrush and I'm going to click. Check it out. Oh my gosh. This is a great way to not only copy a font, but also the exact styling. So if you've got a really large document and you're like, oh, like I know I can quickly change the fonts, but now all of my sizes are a hot mess. Don't worry. This paintbrush tool is going to make that lightning fast. So let me show you um, that this particular one in action. Over here, I decided that I'm tired of Gopher as a body copy, so I'm going to click on Evolve Sans. I'm gonna make this, mm, I think 16 is fine. And then I'm going to click on the paintbrush and I'm gonna come through here and change all of these guys to that. And I'm not quite happy with it yet, but mm, it's fine. So that's how you would use this across a large document. Now you might be saying, Olivia, I saw your reel on this a few months ago. I knew this, but I bet you didn't know this little tip. You can actually drag the paintbrush tool to apply to multiple elements. So if I have like a series of numbers, perhaps you've got this big planner document and you're working on a planner or you're working on some bullets or you're working with me or for me and I'm like, hey, you need to change all of that. And you're like, oh my gosh, here we go. Remember, you want to click on the item that you want, the style that you, the, the, the desired one, you're going to click on your paintbrush. And now you're going to click and drag while holding down. Boop! Changes the whole set of things. So that way, if you've got like text all over a page, you don't have to click, click, click. So let's do that again here in a really obnoxious way. I'm going to highlight this bad boy. And then I'm going to click on my paintbrush tool and I'm going to drag to both of these text boxes. Ah, I would not do this. This is not that readable. It's a little too bold, but it gets the point across. Now, if you're a little bit extra, let's duplicate this. I want to show you the hotkeys because the hotkeys are going to prevent you from having to go up there constantly. I'm going to go to this, which was in a previous Canva Tip Weekly email, which was not that well received. I was very surprised. I will not be doing this again. Most of the time I get comments on things, but y'all are not having the... Um, let's see. This is going to be... It's Alt-Command-C. So let's see. Command... We're, we're going to grab this. We're going to do this together because I think that helps. Um, so the hotkey for this is going to be Command plus alt and then C to copy the style, and then Command, Alt, and V to paste the style. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna reset all of this stuff to random things. Uh, let's do Gopher, and then let's make it not bright orange. 
even though I love bright orange. Okay, I'm going to um, click on this. Now, without using the, the paintbrush this time, I'm going to do Command-Alt-C to copy that style. I'm going to select all of these things and Command-Alt-V, paste the style. So that way, this is a faster way of doing that. All right. If you're still nodding along, you're like Olivia. I knew this. I, I, I knew the text. I knew all of this. Did you know that the paintbrush tool also works for shapes? Yes. If I have a yellow square, and let's say I decided on a document, I'm tired of the yellow, I want all of this to change, you can click the paintbrush tool and click on another object, and it will apply that object style as well. Oh my gosh. Let that soak in. Let's make this one pink. Let's grab the copy style. Let's paste it. Oh, look at, look at us. Look at us. Let's keep going and let me show you that it also works with photo styling. So here I've got two photos. They are like uncolored hair. We're going to add some highlights to this one. We're going to come over here to the adjustments. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work with any of the fancy add-ons. If it's an add-on, um, like one of these little beta thingies, it's not going to work in that way. It will work with adjustments. So adjustments are increasing brightness, or maybe you want a grayscale photo, or maybe you want like a blurry background to something, um, or maybe you want a funky color, you know, all kind of cool stuff. I'm going to click the paintbrush tool and I'm gonna click and it applies that effect to the photo. Paintbrush coming in clutch. And I want to keep going. We're not we're not at the frosting at the top yet. We're we're at the we're at the second to last layer of the cake, I promise. This also applies to elements on a page. So, I'm big into tigers right now. I'm going to take this tiger and I'm going to change him up a little bit. I'm going to make his little stripes black. Let's make his orange also black. Let's make this pink. Then let's make his little tuft mint. And let me come over here and grab a few more random stuff. Um, let's grab this tiger. And then let's grab, I don't know, what are we feeling today? What are we feeling? Let's come over here to a frog. <laughs> I love animals. Uh, I went to the zoo for my birthday last year because I'm an adult that loves animals. Okay, cool. Let's, I just put like a bunch of stuff on here. I'm gonna click on my tiger and let's make this more dramatic. Let's make his little tuft. Okay, I can't make him look ridiculous. Okay. Let's grab our paintbrush tool and I'm gonna drag across all of these elements. <sighs> That's right, it just changed all of these elements to my brand colors with one click. So if you are in Canva and you need to adjust a lot of things really, really quickly, here you go. Just click and drag. Just just grab the colors from one and add them to another. All right, let's, let's do the frosting on top. Olivia, there's more? Yes. Yes, frosting on top. Let's say you're like, great, now I know how to do the type, the photo, the element. But Olivia, I've got like a bajillion pages. So are you saying I need to go through and copy all the text? Copy? No, Canva's actually pretty smart. So I've got this page and I've got this page, right? I really, we've got Vesterbro right here. We've got, um, this is BN Pepper from Brandon Nix. I love this font. We've got Glacial Indifference, Gopher. You see, there's, there's all kind of differences. We're going to highlight everything on this page. Everything on the page. We're going to click the paintbrush tool. We're going to come down. I know, I know. We're going to highlight everything that I just copied and we're going to let go. <laughs> That's right. Canva knew that you were trying to take the styles from the image, the graphic, and the text. Let's do that again. Let's, let's do that again. Because that was fun. That was, that was really fun. We're going to, I, un, I use command Z to undo that. We're going to, first of all, okay, no, that's good. We're going to, we're going to grab our paintbrush. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, oops, I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. Um, we're going to highlight all of this first. You want to highlight the thing that you want. We're going to click on the paintbrush and then we're going to 
highlight all of this stuff and it changed everything. It changed my photo to grayscale. It changed the, oh, it didn't change my little tiger. I must have not had him copied properly. No worries. Boop. Oh no. Okay, well, I don't know why that's not working, but it worked before. You guys saw that. I, huh. Oh, because for some reason now he's an image instead of a gradient. That's, or instead of a thing, I must have accidentally copied him incorrectly. So let's grab this little guy. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter anymore. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. Amazing. This is all the stuff from last week. I'm keeping all of us in one giant Canva Tip Weekly document so that after I fill it up, I can look back in excitement at all of the stuff we've done together. We've done together. Awesome. Okay. That was this Canva Tip Weekly. Go out there, pull up some of your documents uh, that have been stressing you out, that you know you need to edit them. Maybe you've got a template and try using the paintbrush tool. Um, please comment and engage. That's how I know what type of content to give you guys. If you want more Canva templates, if you want more quick tips, um, that's gonna be what's gonna be most helpful for me. The more that you guys engage, the more I know exactly what you're looking for. Um, so please like, subscribe. I can't believe I just said that. I guess I'm a real YouTuber and I'll see you next week. We